ever in their entire life. Welcome. You're going to have a really good time. So, all right, so it is your class, first and foremost. So I'm here for you. Ask questions that you need to ask. Um, there'll be some movements that will, you'll get straight away and some movements that will be like, oh my god, I don't understand. And what some person might find really easy, another person might find really hard and vice versa. Yeah, so work at your own pace the entire time and focus on your own body the entire time because we've all got different bodies and that's the beauty of it, right? Make it work for you. Um, ask questions. Um, and don't freak out if you don't remember stuff because as the weeks go by, you'll be going over it and over it and over it and over it. It's four weeks, not 12, like it usually is, which means um, I'm going to give you as much as I can possibly give you in four weeks and see how you do, yeah? And for those of you who have Bain Arts experience already, there's a couple of you that have signed up, um, I will give you other options when I go around so that you can push yourself a little bit harder. So if you see somebody else doing something in the class that's like a bit more advanced, don't worry, because some people here for summer are doing, uh, from level two, level three, and then they just have fun as well. So just don't be put off by anybody who's doing other stuff. Anyway, let's go, let's warm up. So today is basics day, right? Today it's fundamentals. So we're going over, even if you've done it before, clean it up. Let's go. Oh, are there any questions before we begin? <laughs> that would be nice, no? <laughs> okay. Let's do this.
is made with lots of isolations. Isolations using your muscles. Keyword, muscles, right? So, we squeeze them and then we release it. So, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Squeeze the tummy, release the tummy. Squeeze the tummy, but you must breathe. Out, in, out, in, good, out. Squeeze it, release it, squeeze it, release it. Now try to maintain a steady pace. Because what's going to happen is, 
especially if you're brand new to it, you're probably going to find your speed will speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Check it out, good. Back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Relax the legs, relax the legs, good, yeah? Good, yeah? More loose, two pens. More free, free the legs, free the legs. Back and forward, back and forward. Relax it, slow again. Really nice, relax. Good, yeah? Yeah? Try to keep the heels down. Stay grounded. Yeah, yeah. Good. How much effort is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 right, okay. <laughs> Into the vibration, okay? So now you are, when we do the loose, large hip rock style shimmy, which is this one, we are more, we are in more of a plie, right? The legs are more bent. And they need to, you need to stay in this position. It's a lot easier, hard work, but it's easier to maintain. If, I, if I'm too tall, it's harder. But once you get a really good control, you'll be able to do it. But until then, it'll be a lot easier if you're a little bit lower. When we come into the vibration style, Shimmy, you come up, but your legs are not straight. Never, ever, ever in the world of belly dance do we have locked legs, ever. Unless I tell you so, which is very, very rarely, probably ever. I've got to think of time at the moment. But anyway, so soft knees, okay? So this, this version is just super quick version. This is slow, but this is fast. It's exactly the same thing. So because you're going so fast, the legs don't really get to move very much. But the energy, the vibration, comes from the thighs. So a lot of people think, when you think we shimmy, we think that it comes from the bottom. It's nothing to do. It's nothing to do with it, okay? So vibration. Get the legs going, keep the heels on the floor. Posture. The more that jiggles, the better. If your whole body is vibrating, this is a good thing. <laughs> okay? For your arms, your belly, your back, everything should be shaking. Of course, your bottom, but anyway. Yeah? Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going, coming around. So you want to feel that you're vibrating. If any of you use that really silly machine in the gym, the vibrating plate, whatever it's called, <laughs> it's like being on that. Yeah? So, shimmying there's a fine art between being too tense and being in control. There's a difference, right? Good, yes, yes, yes. Moving the knee. I am, ever so slightly. So, they're more kind of staying on the spot because I'm vibrating so fast. <laughs> but, it, if I was to do it really slowly, it would look like that. But all movements coming from the knee. Yeah, it's all coming from the knee. You don't do that. You just do the knees and then it does that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not moving. This one, I'm not making my hips move. Okay? So this one moves the hips up and down, but this one is literally a vibration. Think of it as you're just vibrating. So it looks like I'm moving, but my hips aren't moving. This is me moving up and down, but this is just me vibrating. Yeah, nice word, isn't it? <laughs> Alright? So we're going to do a few counts of each, right? So, bend, deep hip rock to me. So it's slower, keyword, slower. Okay? I want the hips to rock up and down. You can make it faster. But while you're learning, I want there to be a specific difference between going slow and deep and then vibrating, which is what we're going to do right now. Two counts of eight down here. Two counts of eight up here. Two counts of eight down here. So plie, straighten. Plie, okay. Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Smile. If in doubt, shake it. <laughs> let's give it a go.
maybe, yes? <laughs> if you would like to drink, have a drink. This is the famous circle drill. This is where you don't like me anymore. <laughs> you will see if I know why. <laughs> okay. Circle drill is one of my favorite things to do because you go in a circle and you travel around consistently. You kind of get into your own little zone in your little world and you focus on one move or however many moves I give you, right? So, the purpose of today is to work on these shimmies. They are brand new to you, so um, just enjoy them and, and whatever, just smile if they go horribly wrong. And you're, <laughs> you're going to start off with um, real basic. Now, if, you, if you've been here, I'm going to tell you what to do in a second. Come on to your tiptoes and we're going to do this version. We're going to try and keep the legs directly underneath us, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. When I say change, we're going to come onto flat feet. Now, when you come onto flat feet, I want you to pick the toes right up at the front. Right up so that I know your weight is in the right place. Because you don't want to walk as if you're walking down the street, right? You want to go in flat feet so my feet do not bend. Otherwise, it's going to change the way your movement is looking and the dynamics of it will be, will be wrong. It'll make your life really hard later on. So, let's try flat feet to begin with. Okay, so now just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now go forward. Right left, right. It's like a shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Stay grounded, stay down. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. And uh, backwards, one, two, one, two, one. Harder backwards. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, yes or no? <laughs> right? If you have belly dance with me before and you know who you are, right? I would, you are, have the option to either do that and focus on basics and get a really good shimmy going or add on chest lifts and chest drops, okay? So up, down, up, down, up, down, up, or up, down. You know who you are, right? So if you would like to give that a go, by all means do. If you have no idea what I'm doing, just stay with the basic, okay? So large circle around the outside of my waist. They're not waist, whatever they are. Okay, and we're gonna go this in this direction, okay? So try not to build a traffic jam. It is not a race. You're not racing, you're shimmying. <laughs> so start off on your tiptoes. Keep the feet directly underneath you all times. Keep your chest still. Pitter patter feet, no stamping. Loose legs. Loose legs, very important.
Nej, det er langt til mix. Men jo, det er langt til mix. Men jo, det er langt til mix. Og vi har en lille kombination til dans. Så lad os tale om... Så er det bare en skrøn først. Okay, vi vil gøre en lille exercise, for det er godt for os. Jeg har gjort det lidt... Okay, så det er godt, ikke? You're going to squeeze them as hard as you can. As hard as you ever, ever squeeze them in your life. If you've ever done that, I don't know. <laughs> but squeeze your butt cheeks really hard. And release. <laughs> and squeeze them and release them. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Both release. Both release. Release, both release. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yes or no. Got them? Go on. Got them. <laughs> I want you to squeeze the right bum cheek right now, okay? So the left one does nothing, it has to behave itself, it's just going to be quiet and still, it's not going to do anything. Just the right, okay? Right, 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 squeeze it, squeeze, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, eight and seven and six and five, four and three and two and yes or no? Yes. yes. Cool, excellent. Now the right one does absolutely nothing, just the left. Left release, left release, left release, left release, left release. You should know that your bottom, your glute muscles in belly dance are your bestest ever friend. And they'll be your best friend forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And they'll go everywhere with you. I promise. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay. Now, always have a go alternating, okay? This is where the fun happens. Right release, left release. Right release, left release. Just your bottom. Don't let your hips move. Right release, left release. Right release, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Yes or no? <laughs> kind of, yes. Who, who, who says no? Anyone? It's okay, you're allowed. <laughs> right, left. Right, left. Right. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what we're going to do next. I'm going to do it with music, okay? Because you need to be able to contract your bottom muscles at will. Any speed, any time, anywhere. Okay? So, we're going to do eight singles, right? And then we're going to go right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Okay? We have a little dance with our bum cheeks. So, put your hands on them if it helps. Let's go slow motion to begin with. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Right, right, if it helps, say it in your head. Right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, left, right, left. Yeah? Yeah, no? Alright, music. It's time. Let's do some music. Because this is the stem of the next movement, so you have to know how to squeeze your bottom. So. <laughs> Where are we? Okay. So not only are you dancing 
and learning a new skill, but you're toning and training your muscles at the same time. And that means you're training your brain. Okay? So belly dance is a very, um, <laughs> what's the word? Intellectual. Yes, intellectual dance. <laughs> very intellectual. You have to be very brainy to be a belly dancer. <laughs> you have to, you, because you have to, you have to find, like, you're going to create. Cognitive. Yes, that's the word. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so you have to create loads of different neurological pathways to be able to find your muscles first of all, then contract them at will, and then make them stronger, and then to be able to dance with it. So it's a whole journey. It's not like you do it in one day, oh, you may dance. Mm -mm. So you're going to learn how to develop stuff, okay? So now we're going to move on to another move, and we're going to apply what we've just learned, okay? So if you would like a drink or anything, now's the time while um, we talk about contract our muscles and apply them in the belly dance movement. So the first move that we're going to learn will be hip drops. Okay. So if you've learned these already, basically, I want you to really focus today on cleaning up your technique. If you've never learned them, you're going to learn them for the first time. So we're going to bend the knees. We are going to put the left ball of the foot on its tiptoe. It's wearing the most beautiful high heel you ever own. And your heel can never ever touch the floor ever again. Okay, so let's stay off. All right, so I'm going to face the side if you can see me. So supporting leg is bent, tummy is in. Pelvis is in neutral. In belly dance, we want to get our spine to be as long as possible. So the taller we are, the nicer the movements will sit on you. The safer it is, the better the quality of your movement, right? So pull your tummy in, but you can breathe. Chest is lifted. All right, so now what I want us to do is lift the hip and drop the hip. Lift the hip, drop the hip. Lift the hip, drop the hip, lift the hip, drop it. And now it's called a drop, so the emphasis is down. Down, 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 down. Keep the chest super still so you're isolating. Straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. I also like to think about hitting a drum with my bum cheeks, so the boom, 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 boom. Yes, yeah. okay, and five, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and relax. So, the next thing you need to add on now is the glute squeeze. All right, so, <laughs> I'm not expecting you to remember all this, I will remind you forever, but drop the hip. As you drop it, you need to squeeze your right bum cheek as hard as you can. And that, one, accents the beat, two, protects the movement, protects your back, and three, gives you better quality of movement and more control. Okay, so there's loads of things happening right now. So, posture, <laughs> chest lifted, lift it. Now, be aware of your muscles, I'm talking about them all the time. This muscle here has lifted your hip, okay? So this is gone like this, right? Now we're gonna drop the hip, and you're gonna squeeze to stop it. So it also acts like a brake, like if you pull the brakes in your car to stop the car, you squeeze your bottom to stop your hip from going too far. Yeah? Okay, so five, six, seven. Squeeze right, squeeze right, after you squeeze it, you have to release it. Squeeze it. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Down, hip, drop, hip, drop, hip, drop, hip, drop. This side should be aching. Yes or no? Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, other side. Kind of yes, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Posture. Bend both knees. Tuck the pelvis. Lift the chest. Arms. Fingers. Hands. Okay. Heel, make sure the ankle's not doing any bendy stuff. Okay, so now we use this muscle to lift the hip, and we're gonna drop back to neutral. And hip drop, 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 hip drop. Make sure the left leg stays soft. Down, 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 down. Hit your drum. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. Okay, adding on the squeeze, right? So, we squeeze it right bum cheek, but this is my left, this is my left bum cheek. Hey! Squeeze your left bum cheek as hard as you can. Squeeze it. Hold it. Feel it. Is it hard? If you squeeze it, okay, <laughs> release it, lift it. Drop it, squeeze it. Good. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Kind of maybe? <laughs> yeah? Okay, let's do the reverse, which is a hip lift, and we'll put them both to music, okay? It's a foot, so the, the other one is right close. Yes! So I was doing it further out. No, right, so, stop.
stylization. If you, if for any reason in a choreography the legs are out or something, for stylization purposes, yes. But when you're doing the technique, you always want to be in alignment. Alignment is so important because you're using your body and your muscles, so you have to be in alignment. So my foot is ever so slightly like my the knuckle of my of my foot is by my other big toe. That way I'm in alignment. If I'm in alignment, I can control things a lot more. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do it. Now we're going to do. Is there any questions or more questions on that before we do the reverse? Now it's on to lifts. Okay. So if you've done this before, again, clean it up. If you haven't, focus. So it's here. Now we're going to focus on this muscle being the contracting force, right? It's the same movement, but the energy is here rather than here. And release. Up, release. Up, release. So squeeze this muscle, contract it, contract it. This is your waistline. Uh, get it up, get it up, get it up. So focus. If you might find, if it's your first time, you're probably finding it really difficult to understand what I'm saying when I'm saying this muscle here, contract it. As the weeks go by, I promise it will make more sense. But just try to visualize and think about it. Goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. Keep your chest still. Up, up, arms, fingers, up, up. Good! Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, now hold it. Guess what? You have to add on the squeeze of the bottom. So this time, if you're lifting, it's the same glute as the lifting hip. Okay? So I'm going to squeeze my left if I'm lifting with my left hip. Five, six, seven, squeeze left, squeeze left, squeeze left. So this muscle and this muscle at the same time. Uh, uh, yes, oh yes. Can you feel it? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh yes. Do I need massage anything? <laughs> Change sides. So there you lift and you're dropped, right? Now let's try it on the right. So check out your posture, make sure both knees are bent. Right heel, um, heels off the floor, pelvis, chest, arms, take them out to the side. So now it's this muscle and this muscle, okay? So five, six, seven. Lift and hold, feel it, release. Lift and hold, feel it, release. Up, 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 up. Here and here, bottom and oblique. Lift, 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 chest is still. Please breathe, don't hold your breath. Straight up. Straight up, straight up, straight up. For eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one! Yes? <laughs> Let's do it with music. I don't know why it's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good for you. Can you feel it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All good. Please remember to ask questions if you need to. Please, please, please. I like questions. I don't know how you can squeeze your glue and when you bring up. Yeah. Right. Ow. There is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for that statement, there are three bottom muscles. Gluteus medius, minimus, maximus. And it's like that, that, that kind of thing, right? So when I'm squeezing up here, I'm actually squeezing one that's kind of like round here. But again, it takes a while to develop. It won't happen in one day. <laughs> Does that, make, does that make sense? Yeah. There's three parts to your glutes. There's like a big one, a medium one, and a, a reasonable one. <laughs> one. So I'm squeezing one as I run here and this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it, it does feel like it will be, it's a lot smaller of a contraction than it is when you drop and you squeeze the opposite bum cheek, right? It's, it's very different. That one is massive. And when you're lifting, that contraction is a lot smaller because obviously it's kind of stretched at the same time because of the position. So, anyway, let's dance with our hip drops and hip lifts.
questions? No, you sure? We're okay. <laughs> okay, I think you've learned a lot today already, no? Um, let's do side hits. And we're going to teach you a little combination for fun so you can actually dance with some of the movements. So, alright. Take your legs nice and wide. Now again, if you've been here before and you've learned these movements, specifically I want you to focus on cleaning them up, making them tighter, tidier, cleaner, more specific. And if, you, if it's your first time, take it in your stride and learn it. So, legs are soft, always soft, never straight. We're going to go side to side. Hit right, hit left. Hit right, hit left. Hit right, hit left. Now we're going to add on the glute. So if you go to the right, you squeeze right glute, left, left glute. Right bum cheek, left bum cheek, right bum cheek, left bum cheek, side to side. Transfer the weight, right side, left side. There you go. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. So squeeze left, squeeze left, squeeze left, squeeze left. Squeeze right, squeeze right, squeeze right, squeeze right, squeeze left, squeeze left, squeeze left. Squeeze left. Squeeze left, good. Go for a walk. <laughs> All right, so, hands in your hair. Right, left, right, left, right, left, up, down. Five, six, seven. Right, left, right, left, right, together, lift, drop. There you go, five, six, seven. Right, left, right, left, right, left, lift, drop. And because it's the left leg that stepped in, that's the hip that you're gonna lift, okay? Five, six, seven. Right, left, right, left, right, left, up, down. Five, six, one more time. Right, left, right, left, right, back, back. You're gonna side hit over there. <laughs> Watch once. Back, 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 back. Okay, slow, let's go slowly first for one. So, because I'm going that way, I'm squeezing my right to, to exaggerate the right wood movement. So, five, six, seven. Right, right. Right, pa pa, yes! Five, six, seven, ah, 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 pa pa! Okay, let's loop that this way. Slow motion. So now we're going to the left. So what bottom do I squeeze? Yes, left. Because we're going left. <laughs> Ready? Five, six, seven. Left, 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 now up, down. Okay. Then alternate them. Slowly for our brain. Yeah, I know it's like this. Okay. Five, <laughs> six, seven. Right, 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 up, down. Squeeze left, squeeze left, squeeze left, up, down. Right, right, <laughs> right, lift left, left, right, left, right, left, and right. Right, left, right, left, right, and left. Left, right, left, right, left, and right. Right, left, right, left, right, up, down. Squeeze left, squeeze left. Squeeze left, lift up. Squeeze right, squeeze right, squeeze right, lift up. And back, oh yay! This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you will be, it's okay. <laughs> Take your time. So, yeah, it's a brain game. Belly dance is good for your brain. Okay. Let's have something fun. <laughs> Five, six, 
seven, eight. So basically, circle the head, circle the head. It's a bit like samba, if anyone wants to come samba. Circle the head, circle the head, circle the head, circle the head, circle the head. Yes! So every time you go down, <laughs> the hand goes down. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If it goes horribly wrong, you may leave the <laughs> You can completely leave the hands out and just focus on the hips, yeah? I'm trying to cater for everyone's level. This says a few different levels in here, right? So you do what you're comfortable with. And even if you're level three and this feels too much today, I don't really care, just, just stay here. Okay, you ready? So five, six, seven, go. Down, 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 yes! Yeah! Okay, up, down, up, down. We have a blood one of the moves, so I'm going to miss it out. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Put the left foot down, cross the right foot over the left, turn all the way to the front. Yes, drop, bend the knees, come up. And you're always going to drop, crossing the arms, and then bring the arms over your head and open them up. Okay, that's enough for that. So five, six, arms or no arms, your choice. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Music! <laughs> kind of? So it's there on purpose. It's supposed to be a challenge, okay? I don't want anything to be easy. If it's easy, then what's the point? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go.
I'm gonna come around and this is like basics, this is recap week a little bit for some of you. So I'm gonna give you some more, um, what do you call it? Uh, options, yeah? For those of you who are brand new, stay with me and do what we're doing, okay? So yeah, don't, don't worry about anybody else in the room. Let's relax. Do like you deserve it. Alright, 
the posture. Pick your leg. All right, we're gonna work on our shoulders. Shoulders today, arms next week, all right? So shoulders are part of, they're part of your arm work. So we need to land on the arm shoulders first. So, shoulder, I want you to go forward with it. Forward, up, behind, really isolate it. Forwards, lift it, backwards, drop it. Forwards, up, back, down. Kind like of making a diamond shape. Forward, top of the diamond, side of the diamond, bottom of the diamond. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Forward, up, back, down. Make it very specific. Up, back, back. Keep it up. Forward, keep it up. Backwards, then drop. Forward, up, backwards, then drop. Check. 